Hi, I'm Michigan criminal defense and expungement lawyer Aaron J. Boria, and today I'm going to be talking to you about expungement and more specifically drinking and driving expungements. Now I've talked about this on the channel before, but today's video is a little different than a five things you need to know and a little different from the short legal updates. Today I'm going to be going through the process myself for my own expungement. That's right. A buddy and I were in Canada where we legally consumed alcohol. Stupidly, I drove home from there. I was ultimately stopped by police and I was arrested. Uh, I was charged with operating while intoxicated and I was found guilty at a bench trial of operating while visibly impaired. I completed probation and uh, for years this thing has been on my record. That was back in 2004. It's now 2022. For the longest time, drinking and driving offenses could not be expunged. But just this year, the law changed, allowing for first-time offenders where there was no injury accident involved, the offense can now be set aside. So today, I'm not just the owner of Boria Law Criminal Defense, I'm a client. All right, so just pulled in to the courthouse parking lot and I'm about to have my hearing. So in order to get to this point, I had to order certified records from the court. I had to get fingerprinted uh, and I had to create an application. All of those documents were sent out to the Attorney General's office, Michigan State Police, and the local prosecutor in this case, which is the city of Farmington Hills. What happens once those documents are sent out, Michigan State Police sends me back a lien, sends the attorney back a lien, or in this case myself, and then the Attorney General creates a report on an opinion as to whether or not the person that's applying to have their offense set aside fits the statutory requirements. And then from there, you get yourself a court date and you go in and you have a hearing. At this hearing today, what I know to expect, because obviously I've done many of these for other people and I've read the law. So in order to grant this, basically the court is looking to see what I've learned since the offense. Keep in mind, it's you know almost 20 years ago. Uh, but one of the other things they can look at is the rehabilitation process. So in this case, after I was convicted, I had a year of probation, uh, community service, uh, outpatient counseling, uh, random drug and alcohol testing, pretty standard stuff in Michigan for any drinking and driving, and that was all completed. So the court will want to hear about that. They're obviously going to want to hear if the offense has caused me any trouble. Uh, and to be honest, the answer is yes. As an attorney, I had to disclose the offense when I went through law school and character and fitness. Uh, and for a period of time, I wasn't allowed to enter Canada. So there were some negatives there. And then as far as a positive goes, uh, you know, they're gonna wanna hear that I'm an attorney now, uh, the, the positive things in my life. I own my firm, I own my office, you know, I have a great relationship with my wife, uh, you know, things are good. So that's the kind of things that they're, they're gonna be looking for. We're gonna put that on the record and, uh, and uh, hopefully it's granted. So let's go. All right, I'm coming out of court. Motion granted. And I thought I would share with you guys my old bug shot just because I'm a nice guy and give you a good laugh. So now that I'm done with my court hearing and I won on my motion, the next thing that's gonna happen is the court clerk will send the order to Michigan State Police and it will be removed from my criminal background. And if someone were to run my criminal background, it will show up. There will not be anything on there. If for some reason I decided to apply for a job or uh, go back to school or what have you and I was asked, have I ever been convicted of a crime? The answer would be no. So I'm criminal defense attorney Aaron J. Boria. If you want to get your criminal record expunged, call me today. 734-453-7806 or shoot me an email at borealaw at gmail.com. I am happy to fight for you.